Hi, it's Joy and today I'm going to be watching Lucifer season 5 episode 13, A Little Harmless Stalking. Um, stressed about that. This season is so fan has been so fantastic so far, I'm so excited to keep watching. A reminder that, as always, you can find the unedited version of this reaction and all my reactions on my Patreon. You get the unedited two weeks in advance, the edited one week in advance, and let's go. Why are we seeing her driving? It's never good to see someone driving. Is someone following her? What are you doing? Is she stalking someone? Linda! Oh, ominous hood. You've been training <laughs> for this since you're an angel, Nappies. It's a big job. Is it? Does he do much? Really? How would I even go about making that kind of decision? He well, popped down to earth for a while to do nothing. To really think things through. <laughs> Lucifer! But maybe you're right. Therapy has ruined me. I've been overthinking all of my decisions. Lucifer! Words are just words. Uh huh. And I think I know how you feel. Me too. But I, one way or another, I need to know if, if we're together. That's it. Lucifer. Yes. Obvious we want to be together, so let's just stop overthinking it and just be together. <laughs> oh. I hate this because he's not in a healthy mindset right now. Oh, Chloe. Oh, this is the place Linda was at. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> You're gonna want to brace yourselves for this one. Oh, goodness. Brace ourselves? Why? I did it. No, you I didn't. Daniel, you could have warned us. <laughs> I mean, he could have said the words. You killed that man. I want to protect my child. Biological daughter, what's she up to? If someone is trying to hurt Charlie, we can't. I think our time is up for today. Maze knows. You give me no choice. After Linda Martin, you're under arrest for murder. Linda, what is your biological child involved in? You kill somebody? Yeah. Who? It was. That guy. Linda, I, uh uh. Nope. If you don't tell them, I will. You know Maze will. Wow. But it looks like. Yeah, I know what it looks like. That's why I turned myself in. I know Adriana didn't do this, and she couldn't have. Why not? You don't, because sweetheart. Somebody's in denial. Uh huh. But if that's what your gut's telling you, I'm right with you, Doctor. I hope no, it's true, but she has no proof to go on. I know she's far. <laughs> she doesn't know about me, and she. Lucifer should ask her what she desires. I don't know why she's saying this. No unidentified feelings of unease. Any thoughts? I don't think she's got time for this Friend right now. Big, intense, scary guy. First name scary, last name guy. I memorized his license plate. Fuck, that made me jump. Beam background. You're not Clive. Kind of looked like Eve, <laughs> and that sounded a bit like her. Uh huh. Eve. Eve. that time we went after that guy on that case together? Vaguely. <laughs> okay, I guess for you it was just another day at the office, but it was Maze that made you happy. It was really quite clear. I don't know why it took me so long to realize it, but um, I had to become a bounty hunter. Oh, Eve! It was Maze that made you happy. Good luck, deal. <gasps> Yay! Oh, mm. Eve! I hope you're gonna be oh, sticking yeah. around this time. Place, you know, no. <laughs> Table seven on me. Did he ask them what, what it means about? to be God? Good, I'm having a little trouble focusing on... I'm sorry. <laughs> Freaking God? You're suddenly gonna become the father of, like, the whole world. Hey, congratulations, man. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Supportive besties. Does Amanda really want this? You said I could 
right along because my knowledge of the case <laughs> is quite handy. Well, to be fair, you did say a tailor, so we didn't bring you. <laughs> I do think you're... Just the words of endearment between the detective and me, as I mentioned previously, were together. Lucifer. She's not in the mental state to help you with this right no, now. Will they, won't they, shenanigans. Lucifer, you're only saying this because you think you need her to help you with something. And since you insist on asking, it's the detective told us to wait for her here. What happened to Mr. I found my gun? Therapists. <laughs> words against you. I have clients to tend to. <laughs> Utter bliss between these two. No matter how much my dear Linda insists on overanalyzing. The only thing I'm getting is that she's worried about her daughter and that he keeps making everything about himself. Old and oddly specific interpretation. <laughs> that is what I love about art. <laughs> she's just so switched in the sales mode of you just flatter your clients until they agree. Matisse. That's fine. We collect impressionists that start with the letter M, don't we? As long as they're not attainable, <laughs> Didn't you see how intimidating she is? But she could crack in the It might be true, Linda, but a lot of this is coming from your bias of wanting. I actually really enjoy the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be God. God is in the details. <laughs> Change? Yeah. About God? Everything. No. Make it so that he stopped cancer. Acceptance. Right. But That's also, you know, in a toxic relationship, you blindly accept people. Gotta be something you can say. No. So you called hurricanes, poverty, God is COVID, God. Ebola. Always. I have a lot of darkness. No, my love. We and all have some. The big guy knows and he doesn't care. For all you know, he does care. Good. Which is why I don't deserve him. Ella, you deserve better than him. Tell me that faith that you have in him. And put it in yourself. Yes. I'm gonna try. Oh, Ella. Okay. <sighs> Thank you, Amentio. I'm gonna try. Please try, sweetheart. To really think about when I was happiest. Yeah. Downy honey. With I you. Earlier, except I kind of left some stuff out. I was happy because I was with you. Yeah. I know. Duh. And I had no idea how to get you back. So I. <laughs> Very Eve. This. Broke my heart. It did? Mm. Awesome. I mean, that's. Awful. Awful. It means you cared. You can build something good. Must be the murder weapon. Made <sighs> me jump. He is a scary looking man, and she is mortal. She's shot because I'm gonna lose it. Oh, the bastard. A flashbang. Maze, sweetheart. He's down and she needs you. Get her to hospital. Not okay with this. Seems that you were right about something else. No. Adriana was part of the scheme. She was the one who told Jamie and Clive about the houses that were right for the robbing. It had Adriana's prints on it. No. Oh. If it is, I'm to blame. No, you're not. She's an adult who made her choices. You never really cared about helping me. You just needed a right along therapist. For once, I needed you to care about someone other than yourself. What is she doing here? Like I was saying, the detective and I just had a chat, and we decided to talk to Adriana again. But all the evidence points to her. You think she's guilty. But you don't. 
depleted my savings. I had nothing left. Then you met Miss Thomas Cram. The American healthcare system is ridiculous. I rushed over to the house and it was too late. Clive must have been. So she was a good person in over her head and tried to do the right thing and failed. The movie is on Friday night. I didn't. Please, you have to believe me. All I wanted. Who did she see at the movies? Did she see her arguing at the movies with Clive? Substance found on the sticky side of scotch tape. Someone used the tape to transfer the print to the gun. Mm. So, was framed by Clive? Uh, I don't think so. I the Jamie, phone. otherwise why did we meet her? Not lying. Clive did if only the doctor was still here, she'd probably know what with all her Uh-huh. Huh? Linda, what are you doing? The police will come for this. I no idea who you are. I'm saving her from you. One way or another. Linda, put down the gun. I can't let him get away with this. He won't. He framed Adriana. But now we have forensic evidence that Adriana's print was transferred to the gun. You're mm -hmm. They believed in you. You did it, Doctor. Oh. You saved your daughter. She was involved in a lot of dodgy stuff. Sure, she's going to go to prison at least a little bit. Does she know she's adopted? You look really familiar. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, Linda. Thanks. She is. I mean, she made some poor decisions, but it was out of love for her mother. Deep down, you actually believe that you don't deserve her love. Because she's so perfect. And... Lucifer. Talk to Chloe. Back there when you got shot. I hated that. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be with you, Tilly. Oh, yes. I wanted this so much. And Eve's taken the time to realise that what she wants is Maze rather than just jumping from relationship to relationship. Yes. Oh, so she's patching up with him. That's good. At least vaguely. Make me immortal. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. I almost lost you again, and I've never. Is she not gonna want that? I guess I have grown a soul. But if this is what a soul feels like, I, I don't <laughs> feel it again. So appreciate me. Please. I, I can't accept. This. No, yeah. Okay, or, or I can't, I can't do this. Being vulnerable. To protect you. No, you're trying to protect yourself. I you will get through this if you, you will, Maze. 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 It's a lot for her to process, but she'll get there. Eve. Is it Adriana? I to say thank you. It was no big deal. Her brother's inside. Oh. When you're adopted, you look at everybody who resembles you, even a little bit. Everybody who's in the right age range. And you wonder. I didn't know if you'd want me. No, Linda. Here I am. Do you want to be your little brother? Here you are. <laughs> Would you like to meet him? Okay. <sighs> oh, this is so precious. <laughs> Definitely feel worthy. <laughs> he is worthy. So, what, you're thinking of backing out? No. That would be selfish, Lucy. I must embrace my celestial duty. No. It makes you happy. No, yeah. It is. Me. 
Lucy, you have a life here. Exactly what I need to prove myself. No. This is a permanent thing. It's not like a temporary proving yourself. I'm going to be God. Lucifer! So that stuff with Linda at the end really got me. Um, at the beginning, Linda's stalking her. It, it's not great. It's not healthy. I get the kind of maternal instinct. Like once she saw her, once, you know, your daughter's right there and you can't tell her that the impulse and that she was never going to approach her or anything, but it was kind of creepy. Um, and her belief that she couldn't have done it. I, I get that she's been watching her, but I'm really proud of the fact that Lucifer and Chloe kept fighting because Linda basically was just going on the she's my daughter therefore she didn't do it. She had no proof. For all we all knew she did do it. Maybe she was being coerced into it. It was like you don't if you don't kill him then we'll kill your mum. You know there were so many avenues in which maybe she would have done it and Linda was only going on the basis of it's my daughter she wouldn't be involved in that. Nope nope my daughter she wouldn't be involved in that and <sighs> You, can, you don't know her. I mean, parents of children that they've raised can be like, my kid would never do that, and then they have. So Linda was just going off maternal desire that she would be a good person. But they owe it to her as, well, A, I think they owe it to every single suspect in a crime, but B, they owe it to her as their friend to believe in her and to really pursue every avenue, to not just take the easy, we got a confession, tick, done, but to actually keep pursuing it. And I'm really glad that they did um, and that they found that answer so then when she came to see Linda and kind of from her demeanor it was like she she's figured this out she knows um so I, obviously it seems like she always knew she was adopted I don't I know that the concept of adoption is extraordinarily intricate I know I want children I don't know how I want to acquire said children but if I were to adopt I think in an ideal world I'd want the kids to always know that they were adopted but to be like I you know I'm your mother I'm your family I chose you but like you're adopted rather than kind of oh hey you're 18 now you're adopted or just never telling them I think it's such a tricky area but she clearly loves her real mother because and as much as Linda is a real mother, uh, the real mother is the one that raises you in so many ways. Um, she clearly has a brilliant relationship with her because she went to all these extreme lengths to fund her treatment. I hope she spoke to her before she came to see Linda because I think it's something that as an adoptive parent, if you really want to do it properly, as hard as it is, you have to be open to the idea that your kid might find their bio parents. And you know, if you've raised them well, if you love them, then they're not going to replace you. I don't know, it's all messy, but just that moment when she told her she was a daughter and she could see that her police friends had been fighting to try and prove that she didn't do it and that Linda had been part of it and that Linda had made a donation to help her mum. All of that was just so much. And then when she introduced her to Charlie and oh, Adriana's entire world, she has another mother, she has a little baby brother. I mean, I have a six-year-old sister um, and it's just magical concept but just for her finding like this sort of family she's related to and everything I mean little does she know she's now you know step related to divinity but it's just it's so much and I'm so happy for Linda that she's found this I think giving up a baby for some people it might just be as easy as I don't want it but I think especially when you're a mother and you've raised carried it for nine months it must weigh on you I couldn't imagine it I pray I'm never in a position where I think it's what's best for the baby. I do think Linda did it because she was a child, she was very young. It would not have, Adriana's life was better having been adopted. Now there are some arguments that maybe it would have been better with Linda, but I think in the long run she did kind of make the call she thought was what was best for Adriana, but whew, this will have healed something in Linda, which I really love, and I love that Maze was sort of able to help her with that. Lucifer and Maze, I'm hoping, are doing better. She helped him with the whole Dan prank. He gave her the ring. That kind of suggests to me that they've talked off screen um, and patched things up or just kind of acknowledged that they made mistakes and carried on. Um, Maze and Eve, I'm so glad Eve's back. When I saw her eyes, I was like thinking about it while they were fighting, like, she looked kind of familiar. And then, like, some of her, like, ugh, in the fight sounded like Eve. And I've been hoping Eve would come back. Um, and I think. It's actually the potential, obviously things went wrong, for a healthy relationship here with the, when I first started chipping Eve and Maze back in season four, I, Eve was not in a good place mentally. She needed to take time and space to figure out who she really was. And 
basically to not just be someone that jumps from relationship to relationship because you're never fully healthy in that situation. I mean, I know people do do that, but I think it's not healthy. Um, or it's not not healthy, but I think you're going to be much happier with yourself if you know who you are on your own as well as who you are there. And she was on her own. She tried many different things, but she realised that the thing that made her happiest and that she wanted was Maze. It wasn't a boyfriend, a girlfriend, it was Maze. And that is what's so important for them and for their future. Maze is kind of going through similar but different emotions to both Lucifer and Amenadiel in terms of being an immortal coming down to earth and being with all these people, up to earth and being with all these people. For her, she's kind of only just learning about her soul, which she definitely has. Um, and this, the feeling of having these relationships and these friendships in this way with these people who are so vulnerable is new to her and is different to her. So I can understand how the concept that Eve might die would just be horrific. And knowing that even if everything goes perfectly and Eve gets the best life, in a hundred years time she will be have been dead for a while, you know, it's not forever. And it's not as though it would be easy for Maze to just pop in and see her wherever she was. Like, for a mortal to date an immortal, it means someone's gonna have to say goodbye. That is something I think Lucifer and Chloe need to talk about at some point. That is something that Amenadil will have to deal with with Linda and Charlie. Um, although I know he's not currently, I don't think, romantic with Linda. Um, there's just so much pain there that Maze is still coming to terms with having a soul and with caring about other people and with admitting that she's not as evil as she thinks that it's not going to be simple for her to just take that leap now I think admitting to Eve that she felt terrified when Eve was bleeding and dying admitting to Eve that she wants to be with her is a really important first next step but there's still so far to go um and I get that she's not ready but I think in the same way that Maze well, had no choice, like, she had a heartbroken, but she gave Eve time. I think it's important that Eve can now give Maze time, and I kind of hope she's going to stick around, um, because I want her and Maze to end up together once Maze is okay with it. Um, it's, it's just a lot. I think Maze and Lucifer and Amenadiel actually could really do with having a chat about how they're coping with the fact that so many people that they care about now are mortal, and how they're going to live with that. So then we have the whole concept of who will replace God. Now the minute they were like, oh it's obviously Amenadiel, it's kind of, that seems a bit easy. And while he is the obvious choice, he has a child, he, Amenadiel from season one would have taken that offer up without doubt, but he has changed and grown as people do in their lives while he's been on earth. He wouldn't want to give it up. I think talking to Dan helps to by that, talking to Ella, seeing his kid. Um, now Lucifer is in many ways, the last person I think should become God. Not because I think he would be bad at the job necessarily. I think who he is now probably has enough skills and empathy and whatever to do it, to be good at it. Maybe there will be a few more like crazy miracles happening, but on the long, on the grand scheme of things, he would like it. But although it did seem as though God was very easily able to just pop down to earth and have a vacation, he would need to constantly be in heaven, I guess, overseeing. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't seem as though God does anything, but I'm guessing God does do stuff, um, which would mean he'd be very busy, he wouldn't be able to come to earth and enjoy the lifestyle he enjoys. You know, he hated being stuck in hell. I do think he would grow to find being God another kind of prison and purgatory because he's not got free will, he, he has to just do the divine stuff or whatever. I don't know. God did seem to have a lot of free will, so I, I don't know. But if Amenadiel turned it down because he likes being among the humans, Lucifer shouldn't do it because he loves being among the humans. Even before Chloe was a flicker in his heart, he loved being among the humans. The making favours and running locks, he was happy there. You know, Maze wanted to go back to hell. Everyone wanted him to go back to hell, but he was enjoying himself. He was happiest. And he's since found friends and Chloe. And I truly don't think he would be happier as God. So I wonder how long this is going to last. He needs to talk to Chloe because I personally think they are both at a stage where they could jump headfirst into their relationship. But what he needs to do is be honest with her. Be honest with her about the fact, like she was honest with him about how she's not sure that, you know, this endless waiting and uncertainty, she, she can't do it. She needs yes or no. Um, I think yes is a good answer at this point, but he needs to sort of say to her that, I know I feel strongly for you, but I'm still battling with my own demons and whether I'm capable of love. I know that if I am, it's you, but you know, kind of, I think a healthy relationship has to have that honesty, even if it might 
slightly hurt things or might make Chloe say, okay, then we're not going to be together. You know, she deserves the full truth rather than kind of thinking Lisa has worked through those problems. Maybe the decision of whether or not to be God will help with that. I don't know. Um, but there's just so much for them to go through. I'm just praying that at the end of this season, they will end up together. And then season six, we can just have happy Decker star for a whole season. Please, writers. Uh, um, although Trixie will kick Lucifer to death. Um, I just... I need him to be honest with her and the fact that he kept trying to get Linda to talk about it might have been I do think a little bit of it was distracting Linda from the stress she was going through but it was also very difficult Lucifer although he was willing he was putting Linda first but putting himself a little bit second first I don't know the reason he kept bringing it up was because he thought there was something to discuss and as what usually happens with Lucifer is Linda says I think you're experiencing A and he goes nope definitely B and then that continues until right at the end he realises that he was experiencing A the whole time but he pretends it was always B. It's kind of where they're at and he wanted her to give him advice on what to do about how he's not feeling certain because he still doesn't know if he deserves to be loved. I think he did have his epiphany about I don't deserve Chloe. I'm not good enough for Chloe. Now at the end of the day, if Chloe thinks you're good enough for her, you're good enough for her. That's how it works. And, you know, every day striving to be a better person or to be a good person is good enough for Chloe. Being there for her child is good enough for Chloe. There are things, you know, it's not like Lucifer does terrible things she couldn't get behind. Like maybe he should stop doing drugs, but she seems to kind of glide past that. I don't know. So I think, I really hope we're going to continue to see Lucifer's journey. I hope it's not going to take all of season six. I know season five was originally the final ep season and then they renewed it for one more. So I don't know whether the ending of this season will be as though it's the end and then we'll get another season or whether there'll be a cliffhanger again. Stress. This was a brilliant episode. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of these reactions on my Patreon, along with all my reactions. You can get those unedited for two weeks in advance, edited one week in advance, and thank you for watching.